appointment. This is Sushma. She came to Australia a few months ago. Sushma is not feeling well. She is used to a dry winter. It is wet and windy here, and she feels sick. She decides to go and see a doctor. She goes to a clinic near her house. Could I see the doctor, please? Do you have an appointment? No, I just want to see the doctor. You need to make an appointment to see the doctor. Sushma doesn't understand. In her native country, she can just go to her local clinic and wait to see a doctor. Later that day, Sushma's sister, Renuka, comes to see her. Renuka has lived in Australia for two years. How are you, Sushma? I'm not very well. I went to the clinic, but they said I couldn't see the doctor then. Sushma, you can't just walk into the clinic and see a doctor. You have to ring and make an appointment first. Renuka rings the clinic and makes an appointment for Sushma to see a doctor. She tells them that Sushma will need an interpreter. Sushma must take her Medicare card and her health care card when she goes to the clinic. This clinic where she is going uses the bulk bill system. This means she will not have to pay for her appointment, but she must have her Medicare card. She arrives at the clinic 10 minutes before her appointment time and gives her name at the reception desk. The booked interpreter is already in the clinic, so when Sushma fills out the new patient form, her interpreter helps her. The clinic is very busy, so she has to wait for a while before the doctor calls her. Doctors are also called GPs. GP means General Practitioner. Always make an appointment when you need to see a GP and ask for an interpreter if you need one. Always take your Medicare card and healthcare card with you when you go to see a GP. It is best to make an appointment with bulk billing clinics. Bulk billing means you don't have to pay for an appointment. If you are not comfortable seeing a male GP, ask to see a female GP when you make an appointment. Some doctors will charge you for the appointment. You can claim some of your money back from your local Medicare office. Ask for an interpreter if you need one. Community Health Service Rashmi has just arrived in Australia. Her case coordinator referred her to a refugee health nurse at the Community Health Centre. A Community Health Centre is a service that has many different health services. How can I help you, Rashmi? Well, I have a toothache and I have a problem with my big toe. OK, we have a dental service in this centre. I'll make an appointment for you for your toothache. The nurse makes an appointment for the dentist to look at Rashmi's teeth. The nurse also makes an appointment for Rashmi to see a podiatrist for her sore toe. A podiatrist is a person who specialises in working with feet. The nurse sees that Rashmi is squinting. 
Rashmi, do you have a problem with your eyes? Well, I don't see very clearly. The nurse makes an appointment for Rashmi to have a free eye test at the local optometrist. OK, Rashmi, here is a list of all your appointments. Don't forget to take your Medicare card and your healthcare card when you go to your appointments. Thanks. Do you have any other health issues, Rashmi? Yes. The nurse makes a time to visit Rashmi at her house. A community health centre is a place where they provide many health services to everyone. Podiatry, physiotherapy, dental, hearing, exercise programs, GP services, community health nurses, mental health services, counselling. Most council areas have a local community health centre. Some of the services in a local community health centre have small fees, but most of the services are free if you have a Medicare and healthcare card. Ask for an interpreter if you need one. Emergency call. This is Makwach and his children, Ayen and Abraham. Makwach is gardening while his children are playing soccer. <coughs> Suddenly, he hears Abraham scream in pain. He runs towards his son. Abraham is lying on the ground. He is holding his leg in severe pain. He tries to move Abraham, but this causes him too much pain. So Makwach decides to call an ambulance. He dials triple zero. You have dialed emergency triple zero. Your call is being connected. Do you need police, fire or ambulance? Ambulance, please. And a Dinka interpreter, please. Makwach tells the interpreter about the accident and gives his address. The ambulance operator tells Makwach to keep Abraham warm and comfortable. She tells Makwach not to move him. The ambulance arrives in 15 minutes. Two paramedics attend to Abraham and take him to the hospital. Makwach goes with them. At the hospital, Abraham is taken to the emergency department. A nurse asks Makwach for all Abraham's details and his Medicare and healthcare card number. Abraham has an X-ray. A doctor comes to see Abraham. He tells Makwach that Abraham has a broken leg. In an emergency, dial triple zero and say fire, ambulance or police. Remain calm. Explain what has happened and give your address. If the situation is serious, the operator will tell you what to do. Sometimes you may have to stay on the phone till the ambulance arrives. If you do not have a health care card, you will need to pay for the ambulance. It is recommended to have ambulance membership in Australia if you don't have a health care card. Ask for an interpreter if you need one.
getting a prescription. Ram has a very sore throat. He goes to the chemist to talk to the pharmacist. The pharmacist sells Ram a throat soother and a painkiller, but she thinks that Ram has got tonsillitis. If you have tonsillitis, you will need to take antibiotics, but I can't give you that medicine without a prescription from your GP. GP? Yes, your doctor. Ram rings and makes an appointment to go and see the GP. When he sees the GP, she tells him he does have tonsillitis. This is an infection of the tonsils in his throat. Here is a prescription for antibiotics. Take it to the chemist. Sometimes the doctor gives medicine, but not every time. Sometimes the doctor will just give advice. Advice is an important part of the treatment. Ram goes to the chemist to buy the antibiotics. He gives the prescription to the pharmacist. He waits while the pharmacist prepares his medicine. The pharmacist brings him his medicine. You must take one of these in the morning and one at night. Do this until you finish all the tablets, even if you start to feel better. Ram pays for his medicine. He has a health care card, so the medicine is much cheaper. Ram takes the antibiotics as the pharmacist told him to. Now he is feeling much better. A prescription is a piece of paper that is given to you by a doctor. It has your name and the name of your medicine on it. You have to pay for most prescription medicine. If you have got a health care card, you will pay less. Do not share any of your prescribed medication with anyone. Throw out old medicines safely. Remember, you can ask the pharmacist for advice about medication that you buy without a prescription. Sometimes you buy the same medicine but with a different name. The pharmacist will talk to you about this. Make sure to store all your medications in a safe place away from children. If you have any questions about your medications or side effects, you can always ask a pharmacist, GP or community health nurse. Ask for an interpreter if you need one.